is a test of the emergency alert system. of the State of New York Emergency Alert System. In the event of an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test of the Emergency Alert System is now concluded.
This station is participating in a test of the Illinois Emergency Alert System. This system was developed to provide information to the public during emergencies. This was a test. During emergencies, this was a test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Bexer TX, Booster TX, El Paso TX, Harris TX, Hidalgo TX, Torrent TX, Travis TX, Valverde TX, and Web TX, beginning at 1.02 a.m. and ending at 1.17 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. If this had been an actual emergency, you would have been given additional information. This is a test. No action necessary. is participating in a test of the Illinois Emergency Alert System. This system was developed to provide information to the public during emergencies. This was a test. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system.
This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test is now concluded. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets went flare, the bombs bursting. K-236-CK Warrington. K-W-R-E Warrington, Troy, Wittsville. This is a required monthly test of the emergency alert system for the Yellowstone operational area. test of the Texas Emergency Alert System. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test is now concluded.
This is a required monthly test of the emergency alert system for the Yellowstone operational area. This is an FCC-required monthly test of the emergency alert system. Many broadcasters have agreed to deliver information during an emergency that will help you understand what is happening and what you need to do. When you hear a real alert, you should immediately tune to one of these radio or TV stations. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. alert system originating from the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency Harrisburg. This is only a test.
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Call PKS, beginning at 10.30 a.m. and ending at 11.30 a.m. Call P County Emergency Management Required Weekly Test. Kills night. Nine-year-old Native American boy was taken around 11.20 a.m. on February 5th from Lame Deer. Abductor is Catherine Pretty on top, a 50-year-old Native American female. No known vehicle for Catherine. Josiah and Catherine may be in Billings area now. If you have any information, please call BIA Northern Cheyenne at 406-477-6288 or dial 911.
civil authorities have issued a require to the test for Santa Barbara CA, beginning at 9.08 a.m. and ending at 9.23 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test, no action is needed. This is only a test. Test for Clark W.A., Clark O.R., Columbia O.R., Monoma O.R., and Washington O.R., beginning at 12.11 p.m. and ending at 2.11 p.m. This is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system issued by Clark Regional Emergency Services Agency. Weekly test of the emergency alert system originating from the Missouri State Highway Patrol in Jefferson City and coordinated with the local broadcasters in your community. This is only a test. Has issued a flash flood warning for southeastern Los Angeles County in southwestern California until 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. At 9.24 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Doppler radar and automated ring gauges indicated heavy rain falling across the Warren area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Heavy rain producing flash flooding. Source, radar and automated gauges. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Whittier, Hacienda Heights, Norwalk, Louisiana Harbor Heights, and La Mirada. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. This is only a test. In California, Orange, Riverside, and San Diego. The National Weather Service in San Diego has issued a flash flood warning for Riverside County in Southern California, Orange County in Southwestern California, Northwestern San Diego County in Southwestern California until 1 p.m. At 9.55 a.m., Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated heavy rain falling across the Warren area. Between 0.75 and 1.5 inches of rain have fallen over the last few hours. The expected rainfall rate is 0.75 to 1 inch in one hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Heavy rain producing flash flooding. Source, radar and automated gauges. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Anaheim, Irvine, Oceanside, Western Corona, Orange, Temecula, Mission Viejo, Tustin, Yorba Linda and San Clemente. Across the Warren area, 
between one and four inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of one to two inches are possible in the warm area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. from the Snohomish County Department of Emergency Management. Had this been an actual alert, this system would bring you important information. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Washington beginning at 2.01 p.m. and ending at 3.01 p.m. This is a test. This is only a test of the emergency alert system in Washington State issued by the Washington State Emergency Operations Center. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test from the Washington State Emergency Operations Center. Warning for Manua, issued at 8.15 a.m. Tuesday, February 6th. The National Weather Service Office in Pangapango 
has issued a flash flood warning for Manua until 12 p.m. this afternoon. At 8.11 a.m., satellite indicated heavy rainfall moving close to the islands from the north. Flash flooding is imminent. O lapta inga mo lo longam tafinga mo manua ile watai te elevalu tai ao le asolua le aso no February. O tu ina tu el office ole taui tafuna se lapta inga mo lo longam tafinga mo manua te ya o ele sfulu ele ao linei. Ile valu tai ao nei sa va aia e satelite ti munga tele o lo lata i manua. Nei ti munga o fatipula i ae lo longa ma tafinga ile taiminei po se taimilata mai. Yes. <laughs> 
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. device and the emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and or hazards in South Central Indiana and North Central Kentucky. Tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Tuesday between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time, and every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, the test is postponed until the next available non-severe or hazard day. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Louisville on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In South Central Indiana, Clark, Floyd, Harrison, Jefferson, Scott, and Washington. In North Central Kentucky, Bullitt, Henry, Jefferson, Nelson, Oldham, Shelby, Spencer, and Trimble. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Louisville from a transmitter in Frankfurt on a frequency of 162.5 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In North Central Kentucky, Anderson, Franklin, Henry, Bowen, Scott, Shelby, and Woodford. This concludes the test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm and the emergency alert system. We now return you to regular programming. This concludes this test of the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System. Additional details, at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Tuesday, the stage was 10.5 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Wednesday evening and continue rising to 12.2 feet early Sunday afternoon. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11.0 feet.